Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Friday, the 12th of January 2024, my first streaming day of a full new week here. Uh, what a week it's going to be because, of course, all of the discourse right now is about that surprise stream that I did on Wednesday night uh, where my wife has returned back to my content. And so a lot of the discussion this morning on my Level 1 podcast was all about that. Uh, we went into detail about it, how it went, what she thought about it after the fact, uh, answered some questions about how it went, including maybe, you know, if and when she'll be back and stuff like that. Uh, plus, talked about some improvements and things that I was going to implement on, uh, well, some uh, improvements and things I'd already implemented on DSP Throwback, and more that I think I'm going to be implementing here on DSP Gaming, including as of today, I'm going to change my titles. I'm going to have a blurb at first to explain something exciting in the video, then the part, and then the name of the game. That's feedback I got directly from you guys. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if you guys like that or not. Please give me feedback on it, all right? But I've also implemented that over on DSP Throwback, the Throwback channel where I've now implemented not only eight, seven or eight parts of Final Fantasy 13, but now also Red Dead Redemption 1 has begun and we'll start alternating with Final Fantasy 13 every day over there. <clears throat> so, overall, great stuff today on the podcast. In fact, we had so much to talk about, I didn't even get to the Phil's Day Off segment. And the funny part about that is I have a lot to say because my wife and I actually did some interesting stuff yesterday on the day off that I want you to know about because it may be interesting for a discussion of games coming up and content and stuff like that. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Anyway, um, that'll be tomorrow's podcast. I think on tomorrow we'll have the Phil's Day Off segment and I'll explain all of that. First stream today <clears throat> was Baldur's Gate 3 and it was all Underdark exploration. We basically finished up the, the Underdark map went back to there's that underground forge in the blighted town and we lit the forge we made a special dagger out of that with the suser bart we actually combined these icy pieces to make an ice rod i'm not really using it right now or ice staff or whatever and then we went to the final part of underdark which apparently is its own separate map fighting the dogger draugr they're like the they're almost like dark dwarves or something like that i don't know exactly what what they're supposed to be because i'm not into D. &D. Uh, it's definitely one of the races of D, D. so we went there for a long time had a lot of fights and basically ended in a really frustrating part because it wasn't apparent that a fight was coming and all of a sudden a fight comes and i have to fight like 11 dudes at once i hadn't long rested because my chat was telling me don't long rest if you long rest you'll end up failing this particular mission and i'm like yeah but i don't have my stuff charged come to find out i could have long rested but there's a time limit and when you long rest it expends some of that time limit but people were like, yeah, you definitely had time to long rest before the fight. You kind of screwed yourself by not doing it. So I got into this fight for like 45 minutes, almost won. And then at the end of the fight, I even stayed an extra 15 minutes to try to finish it. The game says, miss, 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 miss. I had it won. And it was like five to six misses in a row while there was a sniper who literally got critical hits on my entire party and murdered them all in a row while I missed constantly. I was like, whatever. That's this game, right? And again... I would prefer an RPG where things were more under your control and made more sense based on your skill, based on your strategy, not a random dice roll. But this game is literally determined by random dice rolls, although you can definitely make those criteria more in your favor. You just get a bad luck streak. It's like, wow, I don't know what the game expected me to do. Uh, it was just bad luck, right? So anyway, that was the first stream. And then I went to upload my videos. And I went downstairs and I had dinner with my wife. Everything's fine. So I come up here to do Friday Night Fights, Street Fighter Six. None of the videos have uploaded. I'm like, what? So what happened is today, there's something weird going on with YouTube servers, okay? I can stream fine, but when I went to upload videos, they uploaded super slow. And actually when I went to play music, of all things, playing the music like between the streams, the music wouldn't load right. It would like glitch or fr fr freeze, unfreeze, freeze, unfreeze. It's not my internet connection. It's YouTube being weird because people were actually saying, yeah, almost everyone on YouTube's having issue, buggy issues today with things not loading and all kinds of, of stuff. So it was so weird. I'm like, so we have to start the stream late then. It sucks, but we have to start the stream late because I want to at least get the Baldur's Gate videos uploaded fully so they can process during the second stream, not that people have to wait overnight to see them. So I started the stream like 20 minutes maybe or more later than usual. Good news is we still got a full two hours in. I played Dalsim tonight. I actually earned way more points than I lost. I went on like an eight or nine win streak in Master with Dalsim. But again, the game is incredibly frustrating to play online. Tons of dropped inputs. Tons of issues where if your move doesn't come out, you lose the match. Tons of people who've now massively learned how to abuse lag. Just to give you one perspective, one guy tilted me tonight. One person. This person picks Guile. 
They try to play like you're supposed to play Street Fighter. They're trying to zone with fireballs. Well, I'm out playing them. All right, they're trying to drive, or drive rush in, do tit strings. I'm blocking. I'm counter hitting. I'm getting. So then they realize, oh, I'm playing online, and this game is a, is an abusable mess online. I'm just going to neutral jump because I know that Phil won't be able to react to the neutral jump in time with Dalsim, and I'm just going to press buttons and throw and press buttons and throw. And this person just did this over and over and won two matches in a row, and there's nothing I can do. Can't break his throw ever because online you can't break throws. If you try, it will not work. The lag is too bad. And all his neutral jump hits, stuff all the dial seams. So I literally can't do anything. I'm like, so literally for two matches, you just resorted to playing like a fucking online scrub, cheating, abusing the lag, because you know if you play like the real game that you need to play offline, you suck and you lose. You're not good enough, so you have to abuse the lag. And it tilted me. I'm like, man, it's, that's, that's literally what Street Fighter Six is now. Most of the players on there aren't good. Even at Master, they just found these ways to abuse the netcode. The fucking rollback netcode sucks. And it's never going to get better until the entire FGC stops kissing the ass of rollback netcode and demands better. None of these game developers will ever give them better. They will always deal with this shitty rollback netcode that always favors these fucking players who just abuse it. So, it is what it is. Good news is I did win more than I lost. Had some good matches, some good combos. And it, I would say it was a good last hurrah stream for Dalsim, despite the fact that... Uh, there was a lot of frustration. Um, so just so you guys know, probably two to three Street Fighter 6 streams left until we retire the game for now to focus on Tekken 8 when it comes out at the end of the month. And then likely Street Fighter 6 will come back into the mix with DLC characters and maybe you know when the Season 2 hits in the future. I'm not going to be playing it nearly as consistently, maybe every once in a while for variety, but I want to focus on Tekken 8 when it comes out. So, uh, so good stream. Thank you to everyone who hung out with me today and supported my streams. I appreciate that. So FYI, DSP throwback overnight in the morning, there's going to be a new video of uh, Red Dead Redemption. It's Red Dead Redemption Part 2 now coming out in the morning. Uh, and tomorrow's streams, it's going to be the Level 1 Podcast, now featuring Phil's Day Off and talking about what Kat and I did on our day off, which is going to be interesting to you guys because we play games together, so you'll want to know about that. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, more Resident Evil Zero Remaster, where I'm going to unsoft lock myself. We talked about this earlier in the week, how I soft locked on the Bat Boss, but I think I figured out a way out of it, so we're going to try that tomorrow and hopefully get past it. And then tomorrow night, Sea of Stars, which I'm excited for because we love it. Like I love it, you love it. Uh, the audience that comes out for it wants more, and we haven't played it in a freaking week because I had the year-end series and then the special stream with Cat. So now it's going to come back into the regular rotation starting tomorrow, and we're probably going to play it two to three times this week. It'll It's a guaranteed of twice. It's a three times if we decide not to do another stream with Cat this week. It'll be three times. It'll be actually Saturday night, Monday night, Wednesday night. But that depends. If Cat wants to come on stream again this week and she comes on Wednesday night, then it will not be uh, a third Sea of Stars stream this week. So we'll see how it goes. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you all. A great return to streams today. I'm excited for this week. Lots of content, progress with all the games. You know, good stuff coming. It's just, I know this is kind of like a lot of people are like, well, I can't wait for new games. I mean, you're right. We've now been playing Baldur's Gate 3 for over a month. Resident Evil Zero Remastered is fun, but, you know, we're going to be playing for another week or two to beat it. Uh, sea of Stars, we're kind of just getting into the mix of. Street Fighter Six. yeah, I've been playing that for ages and everything. I get it. Uh, there are new games coming. I'm excited for both. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and Tekken 8 coming in two weeks from today. So we'll see uh, you know, how it goes until then. But thank you all. Great stuff coming. And have a good night. See you in the AM for the Level 1 Podcast. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.